What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Nissan Pathfinder, courtesy of Younger Nissan in Frederick, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because this thing has excellent exterior styling, no matter what trim level that you go with. And also there is one major change for the 2023 model year. And I bet you by the thumbnail, you guys might already know what that change is. But ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering fuel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, Let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2023 model year. First one being the S starting at $35,000, SV for $37,820, SL for $41,420, Rock Creek, which is a new trim level that we have today for the 2023 model year. That one goes for $42,820 and the Platinum for $47,970. And by the way, Every trim level but the Rock Creek comes standard with front wheel drive. Rock Creek obviously coming standard with four wheel drive. You can add four wheel drive though to any of those other trims if you wanted to do that. Simply add $1,900 to any of those prices. But regardless of trim level that you go with, power plant is going to be the same, but the power numbers are bumped for the Rock Creek trim level. And so here's how that works out 3.5 liter direct injected V6 for all trim levels, 284 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, 259 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,800 RPM. But if you were to go with the Rock Creek, that bumps it up 11 horsepower, 11 pound feet of torque to 295 horsepower, 270 pound feet of torque then. But since the front wheels are all wheeled through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters, which we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.7 seconds which is actually very impressive for the size of an suv on paper top speed 119 miles per hour in case you were interested and mpg numbers coming in at 20 in the city 27 on the highway for the front wheel drive 20 city 25 on the highway for the all-wheel drive and the 20 city 23 on the highway for the rock creek but so that before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the rock creek pathfinder i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there is a circular dot directly behind the shifter kind of to the left of the cup holders that will give you sport eco mud and rut snow tow and off-road specifically for the rock creek adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity four-wheel drive system engagement and the vdc tuning then as well so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifters and acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get this one up to speed and let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are actually going to react for us here all right, so first thing I want to mention before we do this acceleration with the paddle shifters as well, slide the shifter all the way to the back. That gives you full manual shift mode and actually will display what gear you're in up in the digital portion of the gauges. And having said that, we are in sport driving mode. I just put it in there. I just put it in first gear as well. I believe this is going to be our straightaway still holding first. Nice. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Six quick. Ugh. Delay to the paddle shifters. I will say that, but having said that, this thing is dang quick and quite honestly i don't think many people are going to be using the paddle shifters of the pathfinder if i were to take a shot at that but honestly this thing is plenty quick you're definitely not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway that was freaking fun i like that acceleration that was that was nice anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13 inch solid rear disc as far as the 60 is your stopping distance goes it's going to come in in an insanely impressive 114 feet and so typically with suvs you get 120s if not 130s i've seen as high as 139 feet so 60 is zero and 114 feet that is luxury suv good that's typically what i see in volvos or mercedes Ben, so 100% on point when it comes to the braking of the Pathfinder without a doubt. And braking feel feels perfectly fine. It's maybe a little bit on the softer side, but honestly, that 60 zero number, you have nothing to worry about with that. This thing is instantly going to bring you to a stop. But anyways, the touching on suspension and handling. Up front, you're going to get an independent strut type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. And if you were to go with the Rock Creek that we have today, you will, in addition to that, get off tuned suspension as well so overall when it comes to ride quality honestly eh, the roads are pretty good so it's been perfectly fine for me today but i will say when it comes to cabin noise 
you can hear kind of that tire noise because of the upgraded tires that we have. And I'll get more into the wheels and tires because these are actually beadlock wheels, which is pretty darn cold. This thing is definitely made for off-roading, but because of the off-road tires, you do hear a little bit of that road noise, but quite honestly, if you get in the Rock Creek anyways, probably is not gonna bother you. But I will say if you don't get the Rock Creek, you're not gonna probably have any issues whatsoever with any type of road noise, really, so. Then touching on steering feel, it's honestly, it's a little bit on the heavier side of things, which I personally prefer, so I am a actual big fan of the steering feel on this thing. Touching on visibility, we do have a third row up right now, but the cool thing about the third row headrest is they actually do fold down, so that's gonna assist with visibility big time. A lot of times that won't be the case, so for that particular reason, if you don't have a third row in use, visibility right now is 100% on point. I don't have any issues there. Did want to also mention when it comes to forward visibility, rain sensing windshield wipers do come on the platinum trim level. In addition to that, that platinum trim is also going to give you a head up display, projecting your speed, speed limited safety features up onto your windshield. So also going to assist with visibility there as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Nissan Pathfinder. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Nissan Pathfinder, specifically the Rock Creek trim level. And I'll get more into why I'm emphasizing that in a second here. But this particular spec is going to be finished in gun metallic in case anybody was curious of our exterior color name that we have with us here today. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Let's start just above the Nissan logo on that front grille here. This is one of the specific kind of characteristics to the Rock Creek trim level. There's three little uh, indentations there they're not actually functional ventilation sending air to the engine or anything like that but still they look good and again they're specific to the rock creek trim level so also there's some fog lights down below you guys can see that all the way kind of surrounded by that silver outline there that is again specific to the rock creek trim level and they're leds by the way as well but anyways let's go ahead and get back to the up front here so chrome v motion front grille is typically going to come standard for all trim levels with the exception of the rock creek because obviously you guys can see we have a gloss black V motion front grille up front there. LED headlights then to the side. They will come with LED daytime running lights and the automatic feature and automatic high beams as well. Meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim those back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bump it then back up to high beams. So kind of a safety feature there in itself. But as always, a very good looking front end and the Rock Creek trim level just made it even better in my personal opinion. You gotta love the white surrounds on that Nissan logo as well. I think I mentioned that last year. I just like the look at that. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the Pathfinder. All right, and so but now since we are around to the side of this one, black roof rails do come standard on the SV. Silver roof rails then coming standard on the Platinum and you will kind of get this roof rack if you were to go with the Rock Creek trim level that we have with us here today. Chrome belt line molding is gonna come standard unless you go with the Rock Creek. Everything essentially is typically gonna be found in chrome is gonna be swapped out for the gloss block if you were to go with the Rock Creek. I'm just gonna put it that way. Rear privacy glass does come standard for all trim levels across the board. You got that little floating roof line towards the C pillar there, finished in gloss black. That will come standard on all trim levels across the board as well. One of the cool things though, let me get up a little closer, is on every single Pathfinder, you're gonna get this Pathfinder lettering kind of etched into the side skirts there on the back door. I think that's a pretty cool look and a nice little added touch and of course we got the Rock Creek badging up front there on the front doors because we got that trim level so both of them very nice added touch here on the Pathfinder then moving out a little bit taking a look at the side mirrors they will be body colored power adjustable side mirrors for all trim levels across the board they will be heated on the SV trim level and up LED integrated turret signals so coming standard on every single trim level of the Pathfinder gotta love that and if you were to go with the Platinum, they will be power folding with the reverse tilt down feature as well. So when you put it in reverse, you could better see what is behind you. So anyways, let's take a look down at the wheel setup. 18 inch dark painted aluminum alloys for the S and SV. 18 inch machine finished alloys for the SL. 20 inch machine finished aluminum alloys for the Platinum and then 18 inch beadlock style aluminum alloys for the Rock Creek that we have today. And they're finished in gloss black, kind of with that machine finished look as well. So wonderful wheel configuration of course with the off-road tires to match definitely capable of going off-road in this thing just based off the tires alone so wonderful looking side profile as always let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back of this one body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top there your spoiler with an integrated brake light does come standard of course do you have that rear window wiper you got
got some very thick Pathfinder lettering spelled out horizontally. That's for all trim levels. So I'm a big fan of that. Again, some more Rock Creek badging for us back there today. Did also want to mention LED taillights come standard for every single trim level across the board. That isn't always the case, so I'm a big fan of that. But one of the best selling points about the Pathfinder in general is the towing capacity. So if you do plan on towing, if you were to compare this to just about every other SUV in its segment, a lot of them will give you a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, but this one actually gives you a towing capacity of 6,000 pounds, so 1,000 pounds more, which is pretty impressive for an SUV of this size, quite honestly. And you're actually gonna get all of the connectors if you were to go with the Rock Creek trim level. It's all gonna be optional, though, on the other trim. So I did wanna mention that, and there is a single exhaust outlet tucked away underneath on the passenger side there. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are around to the back of the Pathfinder, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a power tailgate for the SL trim level and up. So, we do actually have the manual tailgate for the Rock Creek trim level. That's how that works. And if you actually go with a Platinum, you're going to get a hands-free power tailgate. So, if your hands are full with groceries, that's definitely going to help out there. But once opened up, this is a three-row SUV. So, behind that third row, you will find 16.6 .6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, that folds down, bumping it up to 45 cubic feet. And then with all rows folded that is going to come in at 80.5 cubic feet so a decent amount of space there there's some cargo lighting in the back of course there are four cargo tie down anchors there's a 12 volt power outlet available there are some grocery bag hooks back there and if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor there's a ton of in-floor storage more so than i typically find on other suvs that i review so Good bit of in-floor storage. I'm a big fan of that. But they'll make our way to the third row legroom. That is going to come in at an even 28 inches. So not a whole lot. For reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. So better left for small children. But I will say for the third row passengers to get back there, it was super easy to get back there. You simply just press one button on the side of the second row seats and it just automatically folds completely up for you. So very, very easy to get back there. But having said that, rear ventilation does come standard for all three rows. It's gonna be found at the ceiling or the roof of this Pathfinder here. Cup holders, of course, you can find back there and there are some USB charging ports that are available next to the cup holders and typically they'll come with cover. So last year's Pathfinder I reviewed had them the Rock Creek does not, unfortunately, but they are available. But then make our way to the second row legroom, 35.5 inches. Again, for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. As far as the captain's chairs versus bench seating goes, captain's chairs is going to come standard on the Platinum. It is going to be optional, however, on the SV and SL and Rock Creek trim levels. So we do have that. So we got a bunch of storage in between those two center seats with us here today. So that's pretty cool. But heated second row is going to come on the Platinum. Rear window sunshine shades coming on the SL and Platinum trim levels. There are dual USB charging ports for the second row passengers, a USB-A and a USB-C to be exact. And tri-zone climate control is actually going to come standard for all trim levels. So the rear passengers do get to set their own temperatures back there, which is pretty darn cool as well. But then making our way up to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the S trim level. 10-way power adjustable driver's seat for the SV trim level and up. And those seats will be heated for the SV trim level and up as well. SL trim level is going to add to that a four-way power adjustable passenger seat with leather. Quilted leather then coming on the Platinum. And then the Platinum is also going to add memory settings and ventilated front seats as well. But honestly, seating was plenty comfortable for me. And the Rock Creek trim that we have today, it's kind of a leather cloth mixture with the Rock Creek embroidered into the upper portion of the seats. Definitely looks very nice, but very comfortable. I should put it that way. So then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is going to be leather wrapped for the SV trim level and up. It is a flat bottom, which I absolutely love for all trim levels. And it will be heated for the SL and Platinum trim levels if you wanted to go that route. So I like the orange contrast stitching as well. Again, it's specific to the Rock Creek here, but then make your way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. This is actually a new style key for Nissan for 2023. It is pretty cool. All of your buttons are located on one side of the key. Got your Nissan logo at the top, of course. The remote start, that's that circular button towards the top that is gonna come on the SV trim level and up so you can warm this thing up before you actually get inside. But it is all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here, simply put my phone on the brake and press the engine start button located just to the left of those air vents there. And so once started up, if you wanted a full digital gauge cluster, 
Go with the platinum trim level. That's the trim that's going to give you that. Otherwise, you're going to get what you're looking at right now, which is tachometer on your left, speedometer is on your right, and there is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there that's going to give you things like outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There is a digital speedometer if you wanted to go that route. That's probably what I would leave it on. When do you need your next oil change? There's some radio information. The list goes on. Pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges up there. Then making our way to over all interior quality there is going to be a panoramic moonroof that comes on the platinum it's going to be optional for the s and sl so can't show that to you guys today overhead sunglass holder though will come standard on this thing so i do like that auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls for the sl and platinum trim levels and that's for up to three different garage doors interior accent lighting coming on the platinum wireless phone charger coming on the platinum as well but it's going to be optional on the SL. And again, specific to our Rock Creek trim level, we do have a bunch of orange contrast stitching found on the doors, found on the seats, found just above the passenger side glove box. Speaking of that glove box, just above the passenger side glove box, directly above, you have some rubberized storage because this is kind of an off-road vehicle. So everything should be rubberized so things don't slide around as easily. So I like that. Just in front of the shifter, you have two USB charging ports, 12 volt power outlet, more rubberized storage. Just kind of to the right of the shifter, you have your dual cup holders and a little slot to put your cell phone or a key if you wanted to go that route. And within the center armrest, decent amount of storage there. And I like the Rock Creek badging found on the actual center armrest here as well. It is pretty darn cool. A lot of Rock Creek badging kind of making a name for itself. So I'm a big fan that they added this trim level because this thing is stinking cold. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen. You're going to get an eight inch color touchscreen display for the SSV and Rock Creek trims then a nine inch color touchscreen display for the SL and platinum trims, Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard either way, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, but I will say with the nine inch screen, you do get wireless Apple CarPlay, not wireless Android Auto, but just the wireless Apple CarPlay, only for the nine inch screen, so that's available if you wanted it. Bluetooth and audio streaming either way. Factory navigation system, again, coming with only the nine inch screen up there. You can check out your stocks and weather information if you wanted to as well. And of course your radio information to go along with that, and so when it comes to the sound systems for the Pathfinder, you will get six speakers for the S, S, V, Rock Creek, and SL trims. Essentially all trims, but the Platinum. I should have said it that way, but 13 speaker Bose sound system with the Platinum. That's obviously not the one we have today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the six speaker sound system that we have with us here today. <laughs> That is insane that this is a six speaker sound system. Probably the best six speaker sound system I've ever heard. The bass, it's clear that there is a subwoofer in here somewhere. There's a ton of bass. I don't know if my camera was rambling. Ton of bass with this thing, plenty of clarity. For that being a six speaker sound system, I am insanely impressed. Like that is plenty for me. Honestly, if you wanted more of a sound system, go with the Bose, I guess, but that, We'll definitely get the job done without a doubt. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Pathfinder in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board. But not only that, you do get a surround view monitor as well. It's going to be that bird's eye view to the right for the Rock Creek, the SL, and the Platinum trim levels. Letting you know who or what is all around you, which is always, is going to lead us into safety. And so IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus which pretty much says it all right there. It's the best you can get from my IHS. Front side side current airbags do come standard, driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, rear parking sensors and reverse automatic braking then, as well that's a ton then if you were to go with the sl and platinum trims you're going to add to that front and rear parking sensors and traffic sign recognition then as well but dang when it comes to my final thoughts i do love the addition of the rock creek trim level this is so stinky cool so many people are looking for an off-road suv like my sister for example but don't want to necessarily get the forerunner or a jeep wrangler so this is one of the options that i would probably suggest because it comes with an off-road suspension and you get the beadlock wheels and the off-road tires so this thing should be plenty fine to go through the sand at acetique island or a beach or something like that so that is 
is pretty darn cool. Excellent styling. I always like the styling of this thing. Digital gauges are great for the platinum trim level. However, I do wish they would have come on more trim levels than just the platinum. But the only other thing I can think of is multicolor ambient lighting would look dang cool. Specifically, I would probably make it orange to go with all of our orange accents in this thing. So I would like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new Pathfinder, specifically the Rock Creek, in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.